I felt like last night I kind of did use food for comfort and kind of fell into it and I feel like oh man I really messed up and I'm not making progress but the fact that I can own up to it and really say I'm not gonna stay in that hole and I'm also not angry with myself I'm not shaming myself and to me that feels so mentally healthy and recovery oriented I'm not beating myself up I'm not thinking that I shouldn't eat today I'm really just like hey it's okay if you fall back into your behaviors because you did that basically your whole life you're staying being aware and that's all you really need to do hello my favorite favorite people okay crazy awesome 40 days 40 nights wait 40 days, 39 nights. I almost said 40 days and 40 nights because I think that's a song or a movie and I thought that would be really cool. But anyway, that's how many days of recovery I have completed. And I want you to know that doesn't mean that I've been perfect or not relying on food or not falling into old behaviors or patterns sometimes. It means that every day I wake up hoping to love myself more and carry myself through recovery and catching myself when I do fall into the patterns of wanting to use food for comfort or eating too much to numb out or just noticing that I want to check out and numb out. That to me has been recovery and that's what feels very successful and that's why I'm gonna say I've made it 40 days because now at least I have the awareness and I think that's what I never used to have. I never wanted to step away from the behaviors and I want to mention something really important is that actually last night I think I definitely fell into my behaviors. I was eating really fast, I was eating a lot at once at night but the one thing that I am really proud of of is that I've made my parents, my mom and dad are incredible, I've kind of made them my sponsors. So in terms of recovery and addiction, for example, if you are an AA, you have an assigned sponsor and you check in with them when you have an urge or when you want to fall back into your behaviors or your disorder. So every night for the past 40 days since I really started this recovery diary series, I have to send them photos of every single thing I eat at night, no matter what it is, whether it's half of a cracker or a bite of cheese I send it to them or if I forget which has been kind of happening but I don't let myself slide I text my mom and my dad a photo of what I ate and say oh gosh I forgot to send this because that is a process of checking in so even if I am eating but tons of food maybe even spiraling into a binge or something I would have called a binge before I have to still notice what I'm eating and I can't check out and I can't numb out because I physically have to take a photo of the food and send it to them so that is to me a huge win even though I felt like last night I kind of did use food for comfort and kind of fell into it and it is kind of hard you know dealing with today I do feel a little bit guilty and I feel like oh man I really messed up and I'm not making progress but the fact that I can own up to it and really say yeah you know I kind of fell in but I'm not gonna stay in that hole I'm not gonna keep doing that and I'm also not angry with myself I'm not shaming myself and to me that feels so mentally healthy and recovery oriented it's like I'm not beating myself up. I'm not thinking that I shouldn't eat today. I'm not thinking I need to work out to burn it all off. I'm really just like, hey, it's okay if you fall back into your behaviors because you did that basically your whole life. So you're staying aware and that's all you really need to do. It's not about being perfect. It's not about not using food for comfort. Those are obviously our goals to not need food to comfort us. But my goal is to never hate myself for it and create a negative cycle of hating myself and then doing it again, you know, using food to make me feel better because I'm angry with myself, la di da di da. And that's the topic of this video and has already been as I've been talking about it is what is recovery? Recovery is understanding that you will fall. And it's been kind of scaring me and I think that's why I haven't been wanting to film as much is because I feel like, oh, I already made it past a month of recovery and I announced that on Instagram and on Snapchat, I was really proud of it. And I think with my perfectionist overachiever tendencies, which are not things that I, I want to have, I want to be able to be kind to myself and compassionate and patient with myself. I don't want to always feel like I have to win everything. And that's been my mindset for so long. So I've been trying to rework that and change that. And I think after I finished the 30 days, I kind of felt like I wasn't proud of myself anymore for doing recovery. I feel like after I hit the one month mark, I was like, you better be doing well. Like, 
like you better not mess up. So my past three videos I've been teaching you guys how to journal and write your feelings out because that's how you really process your feelings, the ones that we're stuffing down usually when we're using food. So when I'm binging, it's because I don't want to feel the negative, insecure, sad, scary feelings that I genuinely have on the inside. The food feels so good to kind of cover it up, shove it down, and really numb my mind and my body and make me feel fulfilled. If my belly's full, my heart's full. My mind thinks that my heart's full when my belly's full. So I've recognized that. But now I've been feeling really guilty that I'm not journaling as much. But the reason why I haven't been is because I've been talking about my feelings more. Like I talk about them with my friends and my family. I'll pick up the phone and I want to vocalize them more. I work through them in my head. And I just want you guys to know that recovery and the things you use to process your feelings and deal with recovery are unique to you. So if you're not journaling, it doesn't mean you're not taking your recovery seriously it doesn't mean you're failing if you're doing something else just make sure you are doing something else to process these feelings and continue on with your recovery it can be whatever you want it to be it can be silent meditation just sitting and being with your feelings or it can be you call someone every day and talk about them talk about yourself talk about what you're struggling with and I really have been judging myself for not journaling I have been thinking you know you're failing Kelly you're probably not caring about your recovery and all that is really not true and that's also that negative mean voice inside of me that perfectionism that's like you're not doing enough you're not doing the right thing so that means you're a failure that means you're bad that means you're not doing well you know it really hurts my heart just talking about that right now because it's just really true I feel like I feel like it's gonna take me a really long time to finally feel like I'm a good person because I just feel like having struggled with food in my body so much in my life and I really hid it away. And if you guys need to learn more about this struggling with like feeling like you're a bad person because you're hiding and stuff, I really think it'd be great for you to watch all the other Recovery Diary series videos that I've done before this. Because in my mind, I just feel like I'm not a good person. I feel like I'm not doing well. It's because I'm not perfect. And my brain's definition of being good is, you know, not struggling and being proud and not using food for comfort, but I need to give myself more patience and compassion because food was the only thing that ever made me feel loved, nurtured, and comforted my whole life when I just felt like I didn't have any friends and my home life with my family, like, love my family now, but, you know, every family has dysfunction and I just didn't feel like I had any love when I was younger, so I just need to be nicer to myself and I want you guys to all be nicer to yourselves because we're doing great just trying to change our behaviors and trying to love ourselves more and it's okay if you keep falling and falling over and over again because it's not even really falling it's just that's how our brains used to work and if we engage in our eating disorder behaviors or negative thoughts you know don't judge them it's just the way that our brains thought that it would whip us into shape and make us happier and better but you know just be be nice to even that mean voice because that that mean voice exists out of pain and fear and shame and so if we can be loving towards every part of ourselves even the parts that we don't like and want to wish away I think that makes us a whole person and that would make us really feel loved because it is a part of us and we can't shame even the parts of us that we don't want around anymore yeah so here's to hitting tomorrow which will be 41 days which is probably when you guys are gonna be seeing this and you know just keep chugging along because that's all we can do and that's enough it's more than enough it's actually amazing just know that recovery is beautifully complicated and never goes the way we want it to and that's why we have to stop wishing and wanting it to be a certain way we are warriors we are incredible just making it through one day is cool and it doesn't mean make it a whole day without binging, a whole day without purging, make it a whole day without having a negative thought about yourself. Making it through a great day of recovery means you're being aware of what's happening and you're aware that you need so much love and you need to hug yourself and love yourself and say, hey, I'm here for you. Even if in your mind you think you're messing up, you're not, okay? Like you're good enough. And I have to preach that to myself all the time and I'm even getting like really, you know, emotional and like I have goosebumps right now because it's really freaking hard for me to love myself. I never want you to feel like you're alone in that because it's just the hardest thing to do. I'm with you. And this was very therapeutic for me and this is why I love making videos. I love you guys so much. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, if it helped at all. Please drop a comment below. I love always hearing from you and seeing if you're relating to me at all. And please share your story. I love hearing it. You know, we're a community here. And please subscribe and push 
push that little bell for the notifications button thingy so you know when there's another video from me, my recovery diary series, any advice for binge eating struggles, body image, all that good stuff. And I want you guys with me and I love being here for you. Okay. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. And there's hair in my mouth. Okay.